So you're thinking of buying a home in the greater Sacramento area, but you're wondering when the best time of the year to do so is? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. And if you stick around to the end, I'll share with you a little hidden secret of buying a home that not a lot of people know about. So let's do it. If this is your first time to the channel and you'd like to stay informed about the current market in the greater Sacramento area, then please subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications. My name is Carla and I'm with Gold Group Realty and I would love to have the opportunity to help you find your new home in the greater Sacramento area. So please reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. So buying a home in the greater Sacramento area requires an understanding of the seasonal shifts. There's a, a yearly cycle and there's a weekly cycle. Just like a surfer hitting the waves, you need to know what to expect and when the best time of the year or the week is to get out there so that you can be ready to get what you want. And you'll need to adapt and be flexible. Well, homes tend to come on the market on Thursdays and Fridays. So you really want to be organized with, on, by Friday afternoon to know exactly what you're going to be looking for over the weekend. You'll want to have three things in mind, your location, your budget, and your criteria of the home. And as you're going out looking for homes, you want to keep in mind those three things. Keep the blinders on so that you don't get distracted because there's a lot of different things out there. Also, I recommend that you look at no more than six houses a day. You want to remember what you saw. And I say look at three in the morning if you can. Take a, a lunch break so you can kind of debrief over the ones you've, you, that you've looked at. And then look at three more after lunch. And take notes on them. Compare ones to each other. Maybe give them five star reviews or whatever you can do to kind of remember which one were the, the star homes. And any more than six a day is just a little much. You're going to forget what you saw. Depending on the neighborhood, homes either go for speed or for the money. So you need to know where things are going fast. Some houses, you, you're gonna have to get out there and make an offer immediately after you see it. Or you can wait a little while. Sometimes it's, they're going a little slower in the market and so you can wait until Monday or Tuesday to make an offer. And sometimes the seller's agents are waiting for that as well because they want to have all the offers together and, and look at them all, present them to the seller and decide on which one would be the best one where if you're shopping for speed, if you're looking at a home that's going super fast and an area that's going super fast, you're going to want to get out there fast and make that offer. So for instance, El Dorado Hills is going a little slower than for instance, Rancho Cordova. So they're going a lot faster with multiple offers. So you just have to know the different suburbs and how fast things are moving. If you see a home you like online, be sure and reach out to your agent immediately and schedule a time to go see it. And if it's in an area that's going fast, you're going to want to get out there to see it fast. But if you have several homes to look at, then schedule a day that you can look at those houses. And of course, you have to go by your schedule. If you don't have time until the weekend, then that's what you have to do. If you have time to go see it when it first comes in the market, then you can do that as well. You'll also want to ask your agent to set you up on the auto prospect feature of their MLS. They can set you up so that you can get notifications immediately that fit the criteria that you're looking for in purchasing a house. So inventory or the number of homes in the market in the greater Sacramento area look like a bell curve with the low points being in December, January and February and then again a little bit in July and August and that picks up again after Labor Day. It also slows down after Thanksgiving. There's not going to be as many homes in the market at that time so if you can wait until March, March, April, May, June are some really good months to, to shop for a home as well as September and October. But also prices are going to be lower during those low months too, especially in the winter months. I don't know so much about the, the fall months, but it's definitely in December, January, or February, there's a good chance that prices will have come down a little bit by then. So if you, you may find just the house you're looking for at a better price during that time. There are exceptions to every rule, so that you, you just want to know what to expect for the home that you're buying. If you reach out to me, I'm happy to help you with those steps. It's not a one-size-fits-all. There are no hard rules, just trends to keep in mind. Let me know what you're looking for and where you would like to live, and we can get you started on your search, and we can fine-tune your needs and your budget along the way. That way you'll know exactly what to expect 
and reduce anxiety along the way. So there you have some ideas and some tips on how to get out there and find your ideal home and what time of the year is best and what time of the year it is to wait or get better prices. And I told you if you stuck around to the end, I'd share with you a little hidden secret of buying a home that not a lot of people know about. So it takes an average of eight weeks to find your home. Just wanted you to know that. So you want to be prepared well ahead of time. Sit down with your husband or wife and or family or whoever you're with and talk about what that criteria is. Be sure that you know exactly what you're looking for. It'll help you keep those blinders on when you're out there looking. Because it's gonna take some time. And once you know that house, you'll know it. It'll just feel like home. But it's gonna take time. So be prepared and not try to wait till the last minute to plan on this. You may want to be planning well ahead of time, like even a year ahead of time, six months to a year. Because when you do devote that time, you need to understand that it's going to take at least eight weeks. So if you have any more questions about purchasing a home in the greater Sacramento area, please reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. And until then, I'll see you around town.